But Un was retired when we got gas. But then I realized, my way's free solar. So we gave it a second life with no dread. This old office earned did all the heavy lifting until gas came along. Cheap, reliable, instant flame. Electricity just couldn't compete, especially how often the kettle boils around you. But then I noticed, during the day, I often have plenty of unused solar, enough to heat water for free. So I plugged it into a, a PowerR320D from Sonoff, linked it to Node Red, and wrote a little flow. Now when I'm generating enough solar, Node Red turns on the urn to preheat water. So when the kettle does boil, it's starting hot, not cold. Less gas, less guilt, more coffee. Here's the logic behind it. Every minute, Node Red checks your solar generation and your battery SOC. If the solar surplus is above 1,500 watts, and it turns on. If it's below 500 watts, it turns off. If the battery is over 98%, keep it on anyway. Might as well use that energy. The urn does the heavy lifting during peak solar hours. So the kettle barely needs to try. And we use a little less gas every day. Not bad for a piece of gear we nearly gave away. Use your data, make smarter choices, and don't underestimate old hardware with a new brain. Subscribe for more solar-powered automation ideas from Afraham Automation. Like, share, and automate responsibly.